But you said uh, often this question been asked during the Tablir discussion that the uh, Islam is complete uh, I mean, in terms of faith and what is the need to have uh, a reformer in the, uh, in, the, in the Ummah of Islam? Two things. One I want to mention first. Allah knows best that the Quran is complete. Allah knows best that the Holy Prophet is the most perfect prophet. And yet in the Quran it is prophesied that Jesus would come again. Ilmul Issa. Why? Why does the Quran contradict itself? There was no need after the perfect book and the perfect prophet of any divine reformer. Why should Jesus be brought back? Now, it's a different question whether it's the same Jesus or another Jesus born in Islam. But about this, all Muslims are of one opinion that this Jesus who is mentioned in the Quran is going to be a prophet of God. So the question automatically collapses in reference to this verse. Secondly, why Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah prophesies about the coming of Imam al-Mahdi? The whole Ummah knows it. While he himself was the most perfect prophet and his book was the most perfect message. What was the need for Imam al-Mahdi? So these two things uh, make this question uh, meaningless and without foundation. Secondly, just look at the state of affairs in the Ummah al Muslimah. Are they the same people as were those who followed Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu in the first place? Are they similar? Why does not the perfect prophet in the perfect book raise their standard to that standard of the early Islam? If it does not, then they have misinterpreted this verse altogether. I mean, these two things all together. A perfect message and a perfect reformer do not always create a perfect people because it depends on the people themselves. If they submit to the authority of a perfect prophet and a perfect book, book without any reservation on their part, if they totally submit, then they could be people. But when they do not submit, then something else has to be done. A person has to be raised with a new model of the old, the creation of the old model. And with his personal example, he begins to raise the standard, moral and religious standard of the people who gradually come to join him. So that is the philosophy of why a reformer has been prophesied by the Holy Quran and by Ahlul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in different names. Right?